This video is on Book 11 of the Aeneid. We are close to uh, entering the very last section, the last two sections of the book, and this is going to um, just bring everything to a close. Drances is an elderly Latin who is highly opposed to Turnus. Diana is the goddess of the hunt, and then Camilla is an Amazonian maiden warrior. She has been mentioned in other books, but we really see her come into action in Book 11. As Book 11 opens, Pallas uh, has died and Aeneas is greatly mourning his death. And uh, before returning Pallas' body to Evander, he, Aeneas builds a trophy to Mars and has decorated it with all of the armor of Mezentius. Um, the Latins ask for Aeneas for permission to collect and bury their dead, and Aeneas willingly grants it. And this is basically de declaring a truce for both sides. If you remember, this also took place between the Greeks and the Trojans in the Iliad when Hector came and asked for um, time to collect their dead and bury it. And this is something that is very worthy of noting because it... Um, Number one shows the importance of the afterlife to these mortals, but number two, it coincides with the code of honor that regardless of who you're fighting against, there still must be some gentleman-like action that takes place in order um, for humanity to exist. Um, Evander is absolutely overwrought with grief over the loss of his son, and for this, he wants restitution for um, his son's death and wants Turnus's life in return of that. Uh, Drances says that Turnus's pride is the cause of the war, and because so many lives have been lost at this point, Turnus does agree to a duel with Aeneas to keep more bloodshed from happening. Um, Turnus says that he has not been defeated, he will continue to fight, but that if a duel is needed, he will do it for the good of his Latin people, which is very um, says a lot of, of about Turnus because he is very much so abiding by that code of honor as well. Camilla arrives to help Turnus, however, she dies while helping him and her people. Diana is unhappy about her inability to protect Camilla because long ago Camilla's father, who had been exiled from his kingdom, was being hunted down by his enemies. As he prepared to swim a flooding river, he suddenly feared for his sa the safety of his infant daughter. He, uh, with a prayer to dedicate her Diane to Diana, um, he affixed Camilla to a lance or a spear and flung it safely across the river. She was raised in the woods and grew to be an extremely um, well-versed huntress. So Diana therefore sends Opus to avenge Camilla's death and to retrieve her body for burial. Um, the, the battle goes back and forth and before her death she killed one man after the next but ultimately um, Camilla is killed. Her dying wish was that Turnus drive the Trojans back out of the land. So while, you know, we have mentioned before, she is truly a character that is in direct um, opposition or contrast, rather, to current female gender roles of that day. The book closes as everyone retreats and Turnus and Aeneas finally do catch sight of each other. Looking a little more at some of the themes of this book, Turnus is compared to a freed stallion. This was a simile borrowed by Homer who described Paris and Hector as such. As the stallion, uh, his place is in the stable, Turnus's place uh, should be at the council table. He, this is Virgil's way of saying that he should not necessarily be the one out fighting. He should have agreed to a duel sooner, and according to Virgil, his actions are irresponsible. 
Another theme is that of leadership skills if you're comparing Aeneas to Turnus. Aeneas is aware at this time of the cost, the human cost of war, and wants to limit its destruction, whereas Turnus, he, he is more focused on personal pride and uh, his experience is failure when leaving the ambush. His selfish concern is at the cost of his people. And while all of this is true, while Aeneas is the hero that we're looking Looking for in the story. Keep in mind that Turnus is um, a character that the reader is sympathetic towards because he is fighting for something that he believes in, a noble cause, yet still it is something, a fight that is out of his hand because he is under the influence of Juno. So the ultimate blame should go back towards the gods, the, the mortals and uh, versus immortals theme because the immortals are doing everything in their power to justify their actions and their own desires, whereas the mortals are the ones who have to pay the price for it.